Okay guys, so 362 yard par four down the hill. This time I'm hitting a high wood on this hole. I'm just making sure to stay short of the creek. An eight iron from 136 out of the rough and I was playing that safe to the right and we just hit a straight pull into this left bunker. These things just, I mean, when they slow down, they just break and it's just really challenging course, especially on the greens. Okay, guys, so we are at day two, the back nine of the 36 hole tournament. So remember the day before this back nine ate my lunch. It's going to be interesting how I fare on the back nine this time. The front nine, I played this front nine even par for the 36 holes if you include the two practice nines. Let's see how we do on the back. Now we remember this hole from yesterday, the four putt, <laughs> the dreaded four putt, and we blew it out to the oh, right man. again. Probably a little nice better spot in the trees, but this time I had to punch it kind of under the tree branch. And I thought it was safe, but hooked it into that water, guys. <laughs> yes, it went in that water. So we took a drop, hit our four shot back there from like 160. That was our par putt. Here's the bogey putt. Not a good camera angle, but the ball got up by the hole and I ran up the hill to make sure to tap it in for the double bogey. So success, we three putted the hole instead of four putting it like the day before. That green is just diabolical. So middle of the fairway there, we've got 138. And we pulled an eight iron to the left. Didn't really like the lie, so I just tried to hit a little hybrid out of there. And the greens were so fast, it just was tough to do anything around the greens if you didn't get a good lie. Okay guys, so already through three holes on the back, the back nine has really gotten the best of me. That's one of the things I need to do next year is really work on planning for the tournaments I'm playing, playing more practice rounds, figuring out the golf course if I want to play well in the tournaments. Uh, it's one thing just doing this for your entertainment, but I'm not sure how entertaining it is to watch me three putt holes. Bogey, the first on the back nine, had a makeable putt. The next just hit it in a bad spot on that green. Three putt was as best as I could do. The layup shot out of the trees. Thought I hit it fine and it just, the green was sloping to the left towards the water and it rolled down in the water. Uh, and those are the type of things you need to know. And that's why we play practice rounds. See how we finish up. Okay, so this par three, 137 was into the wind. So I hit a seven iron down there. And I hit it out to the right, way right. And had a big, long breaking putt. I don't even, this might have been a 70 foot putt. Pretty good lag there from, from that distance. Good two putt there. Okay, so here's the par four, 416, another long one. And again, I'm out to the right on this hole. 
This time, at least, I stayed left of that tree. So I had a four hybrid into the green, and the wind was blowing right to left, and thinking I'm going to get it up there and draw it with the wind, and I just kind of blocked it a little bit and just left it right out there. So we were right of this super long green. And that thing just rolled forever. And I hit what normally is a decent chip shot and the greens were just so fast you can see it was downwind there also. Through October 25th, this video sponsor, Golf Ball Planet, is running a Halloween special. Use the code HALLOWEEN2024 to get 15% off your purchase plus a free mystery dozen. So this R5, challenging hole, 525 yards, it was dead into the wind. So we had 354 left, and I kind of just decided at that point, we were just going to hit two hybrids right in front of the green. And didn't make our best effort on that shot. Okay guys, so again, we're through six holes on the back nine. The wind and the speed of the greens are, again, getting the best of me on the back. Three more holes, see if we can finish out on a good note. Okay, so again, we have a long, tough par four, 407, and hit a really good drive on this hole. Probably the best drive I hit since the ninth hole. We have 147, a pretty decent 7 iron in there, probably guarding away from that right bunker a little bit. And a birdie putt here in the 20 foot range. And the greens just continue to fool me. Okay, so I was kind of in between clubs here. I hit the four hybrid thinking that it was going to be firm up there where I was going to get a bounce forward. And it just kind of bit into the green. Ended up, didn't get that putt, but I actually three putted that green from the front of the green for bogey. So here is the drive on the tough 18th hole we hit a high wood at 192 left hit another high wood they got caught up into the wind and I did not get the third shot but the third shot was from about 35 yards and we hit a really good pitch in here and that was our final putt for par. okay guys I hope you enjoyed this 36 hole tournament footage and again, if you enjoy the tournaments, make sure to drop it down in the comment section to let me know because I do want to do more tournaments in 2025 and I'm only going to do it, like I said before, if you guys want to watch it. Make sure to tune in tomorrow because I have a review, a club review. And as always, if you enjoyed the content, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter. Out. Five holes to go, just play 13.